How do I style my hair? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today's video is all about my 5 favorite drugstore foundation picks. Now these foundations are the ones which I really swear by so I use them on a very day to day basis. They are very affordable and they still give you a very flawless look without you spending a lot of money on the high end foundations. So to know my 5 favorite foundations, keep watching the video. The first foundation I'm obsessed with is the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. Now this foundation is what I swear by because it's for hydrated and luminous skin. So if you would have seen my previous video where I've done a mini boots haul, you would know that I swear by primers and foundations which are luminous, like for luminous skin. And this one is absolutely amazing in that because it's like a fruit therapy. So it claims to have like uh, a sense of fruits in here and apart from that it stays for up to 16 hours now personally I have not put this foundation on for 16 hours but it was there on my skin for a good 8 to 10 hours and I have to say it did not barge at all so if you're looking for any foundation where you need a lot of hydration to your skin or um, the luminous effect or you know that smooth velvety effect to your skin uh, guys go for this one this is amazing now the shade I use in here is where's the shade gone it's a uh, light beige now sometimes I feel light beige is too light for my skin in that case I kind of mix and match a few foundations to give me the correct color for my skin coverage for this foundation is medium so it is buildable but it's very good on a very daily wear so if you're not looking to you know go on for a very full to glammed in look just like applying a layer of it should be enough next foundation is the Revlon's color stay foundation in shade 340 now I am in love with this foundation I'll tell you the reason because it's for a combination and oily skin and summers in Dubai are terrible like if you would stay here you would know how your skin is when you step outside of your house because it, it just melts everything away but this foundation somehow tends to stay in there it has a very mattifying effect but it stays on it would not uh, give you know those lines or creases to your skin or the areas around your nose or under your eye which normally a lot, lot of foundations tend to do it also has a SPF 15 and again like the bourgeois one it claims to be 24 hours wear now again nobody wears like for 24 hours I have not worn it but whatever time I have worn this foundation for it has remained and it has remained intact it has not got creased or it has not given me any form of lines or any form of patchiness onto my skin so if you're looking for something uh, like if you stay in a very tropical region and you feel you need something which works outside in the Sun I would really recommend this foundation because this does not melt at all it will stay in for a good amount of time in my personal opinion, this foundation is uh, giving a very light to medium coverage. Now that's like for my skin. So for some of you, uh, just putting on one layer of, uh, of the foundation might you know, give you a very flawless look. But I need to kind of go on with two layers at least to kind of give me uh, the even skin tone I require because of some uh, hyperpigmentation areas I have onto my skin. Next drugstore foundation I am in complete love with is Rimmel's Match Perfection. Now this foundation has SPF 18 in it so you can wear it in the sun without having to worry about your sunscreen and also I find this foundation is one of those where I feel like I can wear this on any type of my skin so whether I have like a very dry skin a combination skin or a very oily skin this foundation can be worn on any type this foundation has a very good coverage like I feel it's got medium to high coverage so I do not have to spend a lot of time layering it up it kind of just evens out my skin tone brilliantly and uh, also uh, the color I use is 
soft beige so this is sometimes light for my skin depends on you know if my skin is a bit tanned probably those are the days I would avoid them and coverage is medium to high in terms of the texture I feel this one is like somewhere between matte and dry now I know that for uh, dry skin this could mean like you know they want to stay away from it I myself have a dry skin but when I say between matte and dry it does not dry your skin and it does not even make it like complete matte next foundation I love is L'Oreal's infallible 24 hour wear foundation now this is what I am currently wearing onto my skin and I have to say I have just bought this product like what um, few weeks ago and I have to admit I have completely fallen in love with this and I regret why I did not buy this product earlier because this gives me the amazing flawless look I could ever ask for and especially from such a drugstore foundation my expectations were not that high from this but I have to say it just proved me completely wrong it says it fights makeup meltdown now when I read this on the pack that it fights makeup meltdown it kind of just makes you buy it I don't know is it just me because I have a lot of issues with meltdown now because I stay in such a tropical area the sun is like too hot for us and makeup meltdown is very common and we do not want to kind of you know spend our time on makeup and then get out of the house and in few minutes your makeup is gone and the thing is it just makes it so patchy and so bad for your you know your appearance so I really don't like that but with this no patchiness, no dryness, no wrinkles around my eye area or uh, the, the dryness onto my skin, like not even the meltdown, this stays in place. So this one is really amazing and uh, what it says, uh, it also says that it does not transfer, it has no visible imperfections, no visible shine, no dry out and no mask effect so this does not even make your face shine it does not even make it too dry so this is like the perfect i think formulation when it comes to applying to your skin now it doesn't say it's for oily or for uh you know uh dry or combination skin but i suppose you know this can work for all skin types and if you haven't given this a try try this out this thing is something you will definitely fall in love with the coverage of this foundation is high personally for my skin but again just because it's high it doesn't mean you cannot build it it's definitely buildable and it is also super easy to blend into your skin so like most of the foundations if you find it like cakey or something onto your skin this is just not cakey and it is super super blendable and the last foundation i swear by from the drugstore is again the l'oreal's nude magic cushion now first of all the reason i love this foundation is because i just find it like too cute as in just look how cute and how handy it is to just take it with you anywhere you go and uh, it's very very simple to apply as well now if you would see inside like it it's got this sponge kind of thing in here and all you do is just open like open this thing up and you know press it press the sponge under this and directly apply onto your skin now this is also the foundation which has a very high SPF which is 29 now again this makes it very easy for you to just forget about your sunscreen and directly go on to your foundation in terms of texture it is very very dewy like very glowy so it makes you like it makes your skin look healthy this is also for all skin types so there is nothing to worry about if you have dry skin oily skin or combination skin you can definitely wear this foundation uh, the coverage is medium so not that high but again like all the foundations it's pretty much buildable and uh, it stays on put for a very long time one thing I really like about this is that when I apply uh, concealers on top of this foundation 
it just seems to blend very much easily than all the other foundations I don't know why probably because the formulation this foundation has if you haven't give this a, given this a try make sure to give this a try as well so guys this is it for this video and I really hope that you liked my five drugstore foundation picks now just as a disclaimer these top five foundations are top in my personal opinion so that does not mean these are the top ones in the market I wanted to share this with you so that it could help some of you choose the correct foundation for yourself subscribe to my channel so that every time I post a new video you guys are notified for it do not forget to follow me on my Instagram account and and Twitter account if you haven't done so and comment down below what you would like to see next on my channel give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with others as well I will see you all in my next video until then bye